Hey guys, today I'm going to tell you like how you can make a chatbot with the help of Rasa. Like I have watched many of videos on YouTube, but they don't uh, like explain very well how to build a chatbot using Rasa. In this video, I'll explain you in a very clean and simple manner. Like it's very easy. Like so easy. Just you can just have to write only intents, nothing else. I'll just explain you in a very easy way. So let's just get started. So let me just write Rasa NLU. Let me show you the documents. So like if you get confused or something, uh, I think you won't be. You can go to their documents and they have explained very well like how to do like uh, installation, tutorial, basic. Everything is explained where you can go there. And for the time, let's go to the installation part. Uh, see, come to a directory, whatever directory you are in, just type CMD. See, uh, I would suggest you to make an virtual environment and then make because uh, it uh, runs on a, a server because it creates a normal server in your machine. It's not a program that runs, it's a server on that chatbot runs. So I suggest you make an environment because I have seen people using environment. So you can uh, do it without virtual environment also. So I am doing without virtual environment. So firstly, you have to install pip install rasa dash dash user see uh, just don't install like pip install rasa because uh, it needs some of the modification and all things so you have to like give it permission like that dash user so if you like if, when you click enter see so much of requirements are needed so if you don't have tensorflow and like other packages installed so it will take much time to install otherwise it will be like very fast if you have all the packages dependency installed so I see all the everything installed in my system. So let me just clean it. See, I am this is directly Rasa. This is a folder. So I will do like pi minus m Rasa in it. See, uh, let me tell you like if you are using environment, so you can just directly do Rasa in it. But for those who are not using virtual environment like me, so I have to like pi minus m Rasa in it okay so if you are on like what do you say linux so you can like write pip3 to install so pi minus m rasa in it so it will just initialize all the files here i suggest you try it with virtual environment like it will be easy like only writing rasa in it i think so but still if it doesn't work so pi minus m rasa in it will definitely work so it's uh, working on so so it's asking for path see there's a dot here you can see on the mouse lay let me just erase the dot so dot means uh, you want to install the initialize the rasa in this specific folder only or you want to create another folder so i will say in this folder only so i will just pay enter and you want to train model like training the model so I guess, yes so it's training the model see is training the model let me just make it a little bigger Uh, if you have like a gpu then it will use gpu but see in my showing unknown error because i don't have a gpu you see epoxy is running so it's basically training let me show you my cpu this if you see 100 percent using my 100 percent of cpu you can see it is so much powerful this rasa thing and it's really easy to build chatbots in it see cpu this is still like 1900 mine is i3 if you like you have i5 or 7 it will be very fast but yeah sorry for the delay because mine is i3 so see everything is done so loading something i think though you specify the you train so it's training again i don't know how much time it will take just a minute see or oh, hundred percent is usage is mm -hmm. 
can see the loss zero point loss is in zero point i mean can't imagine if you do deep and stuff it's a real moment when the loss is like in zero point otherwise it's like 30 percent 20 percent okay and uh, now it's completed Now, uh, basic uh, chatbot functionality. So, it's asking me, do you want to check it? So, I will say yes. So, it sees running on localhost 5005. You can see Ramesh server running on localhost 5005. Okay, see, uh, hey. So, it sees the basic functionalities is already given. Hey, how are you? I am good. I am good. How are you? How are you? See the basic. You have seen the basic structure. How, how it's working. Now let's just end it. Now just get to the folder where I have installed it. Sorry, initialized it. So you can see these files. Uh, basically, you will need domain.yml. Let me open domain.yml file yeah let me i have to open three files yeah now that goes then go to models no, sorry models not models data then nlu.md and stories.md see you have to open three files i'll just tell you like how it will be hmm. oh let me Text. Text. Yeah. Now it's perfect. See how is the structure? Let me just uh, make the screen size be uh, text size bigger so we could just understand it easily. Defense is fun. Larger. Let me just make it a little larger. See. Uh, here are the intents like greet so uh, when the user like the user like i am or someone else visiting your site will write hey hello hi good morning good hey there so it will just go into intent greet okay now see here greet so here uh, we are telling in the stories.md file greet should re uh, return with utter greet so here we'll go here like utter greet and here utter greet we want to reply with hey how are you so suppose goodbye so if someone uh, is writing bye goodbye see you around see you later so it will just go into goodbye and intent is goodbye so it will just come here and look for the goodbye intent okay goodbye is here and it will say okay return the utter goodbye then it will go here in responses and it will check okay this is utter goodbye so it will return just bye so let me just show you like how will you do your stuff so suppose i want to write let me just copy this line only yeah so i'll say uh, like rest during time okay they are uh, whatever you want like uh, when it is open like like uh, questions like you think a user could ask when it is open and uh, what time is it open and then are you open see these are the questions a user can ask so it will just uh, go to the restaurant time restaurant time so here we have to do like uh, let me just here you just copy the same line this so when basically uh, this double hash is a comment i think so in my knowledge it's a comment so it doesn't matter what you write here but it's good to write like the same thing so you can just uh, understand like what is this uh, functionality is used for then we'll like star just children underscore time then we'll like dash we'll say utter utter you like the word says speak utter and will the restore 
time okay see this is the uh, you have to now here we have to write the same thing like the intent so we have created and then restore time so let me just copy the same thing yeah okay so in response we'll come see here we have uh, written uh, alter restore time so we will just come here and just paste it we'll and in text we we'll write like the same thing let me just make yeah oh so it's yeah now it should be visible i thought my face will be coming so i like we are open seven to five whatever you want to write so here you can see in session config like it, at how much time the session should expire or like and carry over slot slots into something else you will know if you just go into depth of this and let me just save all this let me just save all this so okay, all these things are safe now go to again the same thing and now you have to like like rasa no 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 pi minus m rasa now you will say train t r a i n train okay so now the training part will do like we have changed something so now train training part will be done so so you know how much time it takes friends so by, by the time i just show you like the how the structure works see in endpoint.yml this is the endpoint.yml file you can see it so this is for like uh, uh, deploying it on flags and other things and in domain you know credentials see in credentials also the same thing like uh, who can like access your chatbot and other stuff now you have config.yml see here the like here all the things are uh, like how the chatbot will be trained like epochs should be 100 epochs and diet classifier and uh, which policy ted policy and mem you can just change it if you like want like let it be default only but if you want to go in depth and depth then obviously you'll need that but by the time you don't need that and and here actions.py file like uh, the same uh, uh, flash file you want to if you want to deploy and models is the models that you are training like i have done like uh, uh, set a command train so here the training models are being saved and data you know nlu and storage md and one thing more test like if you want to test is like how your convo is working basically I haven't seen someone doing that, but yeah, they got thing also well, test also. So let's just see how much it's been. Uh, okay, 65, 67 is going to complete in a minute or so. Okay, now it's see completed. No, no, I think it's we'll just do one more time. I think so. I just don't know. Okay. See my <laughs> CPU usage. I think my processor will die. Check your process also, like how much it using your processor. Like mine is so 100%. That's why it's going very slow. Otherwise, if you ever like i5, actually my i3 just got crashed also. It's just working. I don't know how. So you, if you have i5 or i7 or maybe i3 also, so it will just work fast. But on this is very slow. Actually, once I install like Mac on my system, you can easily install Mac on your system by doing Macintosh. So when I install Mac, so my processor just got very slow. Don't do that. I just don't install Mac on your system <laughs> because my friend also have done that. So his battery got burst. Like his battery just got not able to use that battery again very very sad don't try to install mac on your system okay i think it's complete okay now we'll do 
if you want to test your bot by rasa shell we'll do shell shell means shell command you know what the shell means so we'll just test our bot here only just opening see my cp usage so much that error is because it's trying to access gpu but i don't have a gpu so that's the error like to the cuda driver is trying to access but i don't have a gpu okay started so we can say hey how are you i am doing good now what we have written what time are you open we are open seven to five like no like this only you can just add multiple like oh sorry that on multiple intents and just uh, return whatever you want like let me just Inverse something this statement very confusing but but asking the time only uh, when your restaurant get open okay, let me see it oh i mean i'm sure really they trained so much well that it has just converted my statement but i have see i haven't written something like this here see whenever time are you open and see and so good so you can just build any chart board uh, and stuff so if you like the video so please like it and subscribe it, it really helps thank you